Method A. Edit practicing healthy eating habits. Number 1. Monitor calories. To have a generally healthy body, you should try to maintain a healthy weight. If you're overweight, you are not maintaining a generally healthy body. Calories are a unit of measurement. You eat calories from food and that energy is used to fuel your bodily functions and activities throughout the day one. If you consume too many calories you may run the risk of gaining weight. If you do not eat enough calories you may lose weight too. The American diet is based on a 2000 calorie per day diet. You may need to change how many calories you eat daily to match your body's needs and to maintain a healthy weight. To lose weight, it is considered safe to cut 500 calories from your diet and aim to lose about 1 to 2 pounds per week. Use an online calculator or smartphone app to find out how many calories your body needs. A good rule of thumb is that a moderately active adult needs about 15 calories per pound to maintain her weight 3 track calories to see if your current diet meets your needs. Number 2. Eat a well-balanced diet. Having a well-balanced diet is one of the most important parts of maintaining a generally healthy body. Without a balanced diet, it'll be very difficult to maintain proper health. Oh, a balanced diet means that you consume foods from each food group most, if not every day. Oh, in addition, you should consume a variety of foods within each food group. Having a wide variety of foods from food groups will allow you to consume a variety of different nutrients. Oh, lastly, a balanced diet means eating the right proportions or servings of each food. If you eat mostly protein foods but very few fruits or vegetables, your diet isn't balanced. Following the appropriate portion sizes of each food group, 3 to 4 ounce, card deck sized, of protein, 1 cup vegetables or 2 cups leafy greens, 8 1 half cup chopped or 1 small piece of fruit, 9 and 1 ounce or 1 half cup of grains. Oh balance your meals and snacks during the day. Aim for 3 to 4 servings of protein daily, 5 to 9 servings of fruits and vegetables, and 3 to 4 servings of grains, one half being whole. Number 3. Go for lean protein sources. Protein is an essential nutrient in your diet. It will provide the building blocks for many functions of your body including maintaining lean muscle mass, rebuilding cells and supporting your immune system. Lean protein sources include, poultry, eggs, seafood, lean beef, pork, legumes, nuts and beans, and tofu. Lean protein sources are low in fat and calories. This helps you get inadequate amounts each day without going over your daily calorie limit. Consuming adequate amounts of protein has also been associated with a general healthy body. Some of these include, better management of your appetite and a healthy weight, support healthy cholesterol and lipid levels and better management of diabetes. Number 4. Make half of your meals a fruit or vegetable. Fruits and vegetables are two of the most important food groups. These foods contain the highest amount of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Oh high amounts of fruits and vegetables in the diet have been associated with a variety of beneficial effects on your general health including, decreased blood pressure, better management of blood sugar and diabetes, decreased risk of stroke and heart disease, prevent some types of cancers and decrease risk of blindness. Oh another thing to note about fruits and vegetables is that each color of vegetable or fruit contains different types of beneficial nutrients. In addition to eating adequate servings each day, make sure to choose a variety of different colors of items. Number 5. Make your grain choices whole grain. Whole grain foods have been associated with a variety of beneficial health effects to help promote a general healthy body. Try making more of your grain choices whole. Oh, refined grains, or those that are more processed and not whole do not have as many nutritional benefits compared to whole grains. They're typically lower in fiber, protein and other beneficial nutrients. Oh, whole grains to try include, 100% whole wheat pasta and bread, brown rice, whole grain oats, farro, millet, quinoa and barley. Oh, although all your grain choices may not be whole grains, Health experts recommend trying to make at least one half of them 100% whole grain. 
Some of the health benefits associated with whole grains include, increased fiber and other beneficial nutrients, reduced risk of heart disease diabetes and some cancers. Oh if you are trying to lose weight, try limiting your carbohydrate intake. Method 2. Edit maintaining a healthy body with exercise. Number 1. Include enough cardio exercises. Cardiovascular or aerobic exercises are a very important part to a healthy lifestyle and generally healthy body. Oh there are a huge amount of health benefits associated with regular and consistent exercise. Some include, improved mood, improved sleep quality, improved circulation, helps manage a healthy weight, decreases blood pressure and risk for stroke, manages and controls insulin, improves blood lipid and cholesterol levels, boosts energy and can help improve your self-image. Oh health experts recommend getting at least 150 minutes of cardio activity each week, or 30 minutes 5 times a week. You can increase benefits by getting 300 minutes of aerobic activity each week, or 1 hour 5 times a week. Oh include a variety of activities each week. Exercises to try include, walking, jogging slash running, dancing, swimming, aerobics classes, biking or hiking. Number 2. Do 1 to 3 days of strength training. The counterpart to regular aerobic exercise is strength training or resistance exercise. These activities help build and support lean muscle mass in addition to providing other health benefits. Strength training and adding muscle can even increase your metabolism and help you lose weight. A regular strength training has many benefits outside of building stronger muscles. Regular weight-bearing exercise helps decrease your risk of osteoporosis by making your bones stronger and denser. Oh, experts recommend doing about two days of strength training each week. It's important to work every major muscle group including, arms, chest, back, core and legs. Lift free weights, use weight machines or do weight-bearing activities like yoga or pilates. Oh separate each strength training day by at least one day of rest to all your muscles to recover and repair efficiently. Number 3. Move more throughout the day. In addition to both strength training and planned cardiovascular exercise, it's also important to just move more throughout the day or include more baseline activity. Although these types of activities aren't huge calorie burners, they also have a significant amount of positive health side effects. Oh baseline activities refer to any exercise or activity that you do on a regular basis. This could be yard work or household chores, taking the stairs or walking throughout the day. Oh there have been studies that show that after even one or two hours of sitting there are negative side effects including reduced blood flow, decreased calorie burn and more difficulty manage chronic conditions, like high blood pressure or diabetes. Oh in addition to just moving more, some health experts even recommend getting up for just a few minutes about every hour. Method C. Edit making changes to your lifestyle. Number 1. Quit smoking. Most people know smoking is considered an unhealthy behavior that can be linked to a variety of negative health problems. If you currently smoke, seriously consider quitting to help improve your general health. Oh, smoking has been linked to numerous health problems including, lung cancer and disease, high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, blindness and mouth disease. Oh there are many different methods to help you quit smoking or other tobacco products. There are over-the-counter options, like gums, patches, prescription medications and even counseling programs. Number 2. Limit Alcohol. Some studies have actually shown that very moderate alcohol consumption, less than 1 to 2 glasses every few days, can have positive effects on your health. However, many people drink more than this and higher amounts of alcohol can have negative side effects on your health. Oh heavy drinking or more excessive drinking, more than 3 drinks per day or more than 7 drinks each week, can cause a variety of adverse health issues including, pancreatitis, stroke high blood pressure, liver and brain damage. Oh the recommendations for alcohol consumption are, women less than 1 glasses or servings daily and men less than 2 glasses or servings daily.